Hey shooters, this is Daryl from ST Tactical Arms with a quick tip on how to fix a mil spec trigger. What it consists of is a quarter 28 set screw and a shorter grip screw. What we're going to do is we're going to run that set screw up the hole where your grip screw goes in, all the way to you bottom out on the bottom of the trigger. We're going to turn the weapon to safe. We're going to run that grip screw in all the way until you feel tension. Once you feel tension, you'll notice that the safety won't turn anymore because the bottom of the trigger has hit the bottom of the, the safety, or the top of the trigger has hit the bottom of the safety. We're going to back it off slightly until you can move that trigger freely. We took, just took up a whole bunch of take up on this trigger by doing this here. Once you find you're at the right spot and you like it, take that, that screw, that set screw all the way back out Put on some Loctite if you have it. Otherwise, we're selling a, a screw kit for five, well, $4.99 at SD Tactical Arms. We'll send you the whole screw kit and you can come back and watch this video. $5 fix for your trigger. Also, another point, a thing I'd like to point out here is a lot of times there's still in a mil spec trigger a lot of take up. Well, your sear is going to ride on this flat spot here. And the longer it is, the more you're pulling that trigger across that to make it go off. Now you can take a file as long as you fly, file 90 degrees from this sear right here. 90 degrees, file this way and make this ledge shorter. That's up to you if you want to play around with that. Um, you can file too much but anyway this is a quick tip for you guys today. No spec trigger, how to make them better. Take care folks.